A 3D skybox can make your level look a lot larger and more impressive than it actually is. I don't really like making them, because I prefer making the maps and I don't tend to finish them, so I don't go on to the uh, 3D skyboxes. But <coughs> if you want to make a 3D skybox, you make your level like this, and then you make another level, which you can't get to, just outside. Like this. Doesn't matter about the coordinates, because it's going to look much larger than this anyway. Just going to make it hollow by pressing Ctrl H minus 32. And hopefully this will, yep, yeah, it will. It'll make another. So it's mucking about. It'll make another level here. To make this a 3D skybox, we place an entity in and call it a sky underscore camera. Apply. This will make anything in this skybox look 16 times larger, and it'll be positioned relative to where this is placed. Wherever you place the skybox will be the center of the entire editor where the blue lines cross. So if you place a block, say, one block away from there, in the 3D skybox, it will position itself the equivalent of 16 times further away, and it will look 16 times larger. I'll just show you. So there it is, it's positioned one block away, and it will appear to be out here somewhere, 16 times larger, so it will look like a big block about here on your level. Here's one I made earlier. As you can see, there's the block. Very big and impressive. And once you've got all of this prepared, you can then start lining things up to your level. If it actually starts working. Here's my level. As you can see, it's 1024 by 1024. So if you half that, that's 512 this corner bit here. So if I want to make grass appear like it's going on beyond that in the skybox, you get the same distance in the skybox and make it 16 times smaller. So it's there, that's where the corner is. So the level is the, that area there. Once you know this, you can make the level look like it's going on further by doing this. In the skybox, it'll look like this. So your level is here. You'll just be able. To look, it'll look like you'll be able to run onto this bit here. Now the text is much lower quality because it's 16 times larger. So I'm going to make it the text just scale by selecting it using the toggle texture application tool. I'm going to set this to 0 0.2, 0 0.02 even. That'll make it really, really small. I'm going to set the resolution in the actual level to that times 16. So that's 0.32. By 0.32. Hopefully, if I render this, it'll look like the level carries on in that direction. I'll also add a big tower into the skybox just to make it look more impressive. The skybox doesn't really have any purpose as such, as to, other than making your level look much larger than it actually is. Uh, apparently, it uses up less memory and stuff like that. I don't really use it that much, but it's quite good if you if you want to make a big skyscraper in the distance or something. So if I just render this, you should be able to see this in the level. It'll look 16 times larger than that. Let's render it and see. Uh, very funny. Okay, my source SDK has crashed and my Counter Strike seems to have as well. Come on. The wonders of Vista. Once it's loaded up, I'm going to load up the level and see what it looks like. Just gonna speed this up. So here's the level. Hopefully, yes, it does look like it carries on. I can kind of see the invisible line a bit. No, you can't. That's fine. So there it is. That's in the skybox. So you can't shoot beyond that bit. So here's the corner. You can see you can shoot the ground there, but you can't shoot it there because that's the skybox. And so is that. If you put the cheats on, no clip, you can fly off into the skybox, if I can find it. There it is. You can see it looks like this. It's 16 times larger in the actual level. So there. It's an imaginary part of the level, and that's about it. 
but it does make your level look a bit larger than it actually is if you join it up properly hope this helps good luck making big levels because my source SDK crashed I had to remake the level so here it is it's slightly better this time and I'm going to put the upload on YouTube so you can muck around with it and see how I did it you also need to change the light map scale if you want it to blend quite well it's still not perfect but if it was perfect then everything would be in the 3D skybox and there wouldn't be any levels anymore so have fun